Hey, what's going on guys? Vega here from Serpent X Special Forces and today I just wanted to do an update to mining Ravencoin or in general the X16R algorithm. Now, uh, this is more of like a open discussion. Uh, unfortunately, I won't be able to talk with you directly. Uh, but if you have any tips and tricks, because I am going to go over some of the performance, my experience and stuff like that, uh, definitely leave any information that could be helpful for the community in the comments below. Um, I definitely check out the comments and uh, share any information I can with others as well. Um, you know, uh, learn from others as you know as much as I can. So Ravencoin's nothing new. Ravencoin's been around for a little bit over a year now. Uh, it's the second quarter of 2019, and recently we've seen an uptick in Ravencoin's interest or the interest in it. Uh, it's drawing in more of a crowd, it's getting more of attention, which is good for the community, good for the project. Now, Ravencoin has been kind of on a tear lately. Um, as you can see, it's doing pretty well. And of course, with this increase in uh, attraction, it also increases the amount of miners on the network and also increases the network difficulty. So profits, uh, as far as you know, hash rate per, to, to get a, a single coin has been reduced, but the coin is certainly profitable. Um, using r various mining calculators, you'll see that Ravencoin is among the top five and has been among the top five for quite some time now. So, uh, you know, a lot more people are, are starting to mine Ravencoin um, and this is obviously reducing the amount of Ravencoin were paid out uh, compared to earlier. Uh, last year, uh, even with a few cards, uh, not my full rig set up, uh, I was getting at least 2,000 um, Raven or more. I uh, didn't have anything like um, others out there like a BBT Carter or uh, some, you know, other what I would call crypto tubers. But now we're only getting like my machines are only getting me around 100, 120 Raven coin a day uh, versus, you know, the, the couple hundred, almost thousand, two thousand I was getting when the project first came out. Uh, so it's definitely dropped down, but it doesn't mean it's not profitable. Now, we're not going to focus too much on the price today. I just wanted to share my information and my experiences with you. Ravencoin is very um, overclock sensitive, so to speak. Uh, but before we go into that, let's talk about the algorithm a little bit more. So X16R uh, is basically um, a compilation of the various algorithms. So it's X15 plus SHA. And it's... it's you know, just like any other algorithm that's out there, um, most of them, they all say that they're working to become ASIC proof. Uh, can't be 100% ASIC resistance, I guess you could say. Some of them say they're ASIC resistant, but uh, eventually it can lead to uh, somebody cracking the code, so to speak. Now, because the way X16R is built, it makes it harder for ASICs, uh, but I think I saw something out there before, don't quote me where, but... Um, that there might be a possible ASIC coming in the future. But anyways, let me read this to you. So X16R algorithm intends to solve the problem, that's the problem of ASICs, by constantly disrupting the ordering of the hashing algorithms. The hashing algorithms are the same proven algorithms used in X15 plus SHA-512. But the ordering is changed based on the hash of the previous block. This reordering does not make ASIC impossible to build, but it does require that ASIC adapts to an additional input. Uh, to additional input which is more easily accomplished by a CPU or GPU. The reordering also prevents a simple extension of current X11 ASICs or future X15 ASICs from mining on the X16R. The X16R hashing algorithms consist of 16 hashing algorithms operating in a chain fashion with the ordering dependent on the last 8 bytes or 16 nibbles of the hash of the previous block and you can see here there's an example. Um, I also drew up my own example here, or I, I took one from one of my minor rigs. So we can see, if I bring this down here, um, the hash order was taken. Here's the hash order. So 1, 2, 5, 3, 7, 8, 9, 7, 8, 8, A, 6, A, A, 7, 5. And you can see the algorithms that they're using. So 1 is BMW, just like they have on this chart. Uh, Grossel's 2, um, Skin 5, JH3. Uh, Cube hash seven, uh, Shavit, 
Shavit, Shavite um, is number eight. Um, I think it's Schmid or Simd. Uh, forgive me on the pronunciation of these. Nine, and then there's a uh, um, cube hash again. Shavit, Shavit, Echo, Lufa, Echo, Echo, cube hash, and then Shah five five twelve. And of course that varies. And if you look at your various mining programs, you see that they're color coded. And the reason they're color coded, and here on the white paper for the X16R algorithm, you can see it's the difficulty. So applying common logic and, and common sense, uh, red we can assume is harder, yellow is mediocre, green is easier. So all green, you get a higher hash rate all red you get a, a lower hash rate now I haven't seen an all green or an all red or an all yellow but you get most of one most of the other are mix match and this uh, switching in the chain I guess you could say the ordering uh, being switched around makes it harder for ASICs to mine on it giving uh, the community that mine with GPUs and CPUs uh, a better advantage now mining with a CPU back when the project first started probably was profitable but right now I haven't seen that being any profitable so I wouldn't recommend that mine with a GPU um, and speaking of mining with a GPU I wanted to show you a couple of uh, bits of information so first off um, here's a little mix of what we get right so we got the different uh, hash orders letting us know how difficult or how easy like this one right here in the middle would be an easier algorithm to mine on you might get a higher hash rate whereas uh, the one above it might give you like a, a mediocre hash rate um, here's one where I was mining and this is on the GTX 1660 Ti I took this off of as you can see here on the screen so this was a easier we got mostly green in here uh, Shaw, Kakek, Skin, BMW, um, Blake and I was getting around 19, 20 mega hashes, 22 going up because you have to let X16R kind of settle. You can't just mine it and get the hash rate in the first 15 seconds. You want to let it run for some time, but it's going to fluctuate depending on the hash order that you receive or the algorithm that your system or cards are mining on. Now for a harder algorithm, you can see here we got mostly red, a little mix of green and, and um, yellow, and the 1660 Ti was struggling, so it's around 14.5 mega hashes. So, taking all of that information, what I did is actually compiled something for you guys. On my 1660 Ti, um, I got 12 to 25 mega hashes, and yes, this is a crappy sticky note, whatever. Uh, 980 Ti, 12 to 20 mega hashes. 1060, 10 to 16 mega hashes. 1070s, 12 to 21 mega hashes, 2080 non-TI, 24 to 48 mega hashes, 1080 Ti, 22 to 41 mega hashes. Um, increasing or playing around with the intensity, intensity, which you can do through all your miners, um, showed mediocre boost in performance. Uh, but I found 22. Anything past 22 is is for me diminishing returns. Now again. Mining X16R, your your video cards um, probably are well. Excuse me, mining X16R, the over it's overclock sensitive. Period. So you don't want to push it too hard because then it's just going to cause issues. Uh, what I would recommend is basically, oh, and this is the if I could show you the difficulty. This is what the difficulty looks like. So we weren't we weren't getting. I know I switched topics here. We weren't having as many miners on the network, kind of sitting steady, and then as in, you know, interest accrued, I guess you could say, because we did start getting on that tear, the difficulty rised up, and here we are now. So it's dropping down a little bit, um, but we still got a decent amount of miners on the network. Matter of fact, if we look at uh, mining pool stats, uh, everybody's spread out which is good you don't want to have everything on one pool you you want to stay decentralized so point of Ravencoin it's a decentralized open source uh, platform and there's plenty of projects that you can do uh, I talked about it in a previous video uh, which I might have linked at the end or in the description uh, but unlike Zcoin which I have uh, or asked many times to kind of spread the hash rate out you see everybody's on two minerscom and that's 71% of the network's hash rate on one pool, which is dangerous. That's that's dangerous. We don't want to do that. As a community, we need to spread our hash rate out, even if 
it's not a pool that we like or you know we're used to or in our country we want to spread the hash rate out but we have plenty of pools to choose from I, I venture between Raven Miner uh, Supernova Nano Pool um, just venture between those obviously you don't want to be in a pool um, by yourself because you can take forever to hash a block but because of that increased activity and amount of miners on the network now we got to obviously increased difficulty which means profits are as far as your coin reward has gone down but as far as USD if that's what you're concerned about uh, it is very profitable obviously you can see from a few uh, a 1060 5 1070s and I, I grouped the 1660 Ti into a 1070 basically that's this equivalent performance a little bit better in certain algos but equivalent performance 1080 Ti and 2080 even though the 1080 Ti and 2080 are equivalent performance as well but just a little bit better on the 2080 Ti side as I said because I was able to get um, <clears throat> a max of 48 mega hashes on Raven, whereas on a 1080 Ti I was only able to get 41. Um, it, it's definitely profitable though. So you definitely can uh, make, if you got a, a system and you put it to work, um, you want to use a good miner. Let me give you some miners real quick. Personally, I prefer, prefer I can't talk today, I prefer uh, T Rex. Uh, but you can also use Z Enemy Miner. Um, yeah, so I got T Rex. I'm not sure if there's a new one that came out. T Rex Miner 0.9.2 and uh, Z Enemy Miner. Uh, CC Miner can also do it, but I found a better hash rate with T Rex. Also, um, you're able to uh, use a localhost uh, IP and port to you know have a browser graph and monitor everything through that, which is really nice. So let's get back to intensity because I, I switched topics here. Uh, so when I increased the intensity to 22, uh, my 1660 Ti went from 12 to 25 to 13 to 29. My 1080 Ti went from 22 to 41 uh, to 24 to 47. My 2080 went from 24 to 48 to 25 to 52. My 1070s went from 12 to 21 to 13 to 25. My 1060 went from 10 to 16 to um, 10 to 18.5. And my 980 Ti went from 12 to 20 mega hashes to 11 to 23. So increasing the uh, intensity can improve your hash rate. But again, you're going to be using, uh, you're going to be putting more of a, a, a strain on your system. So be wary of that. Um, obviously, there's other tricks you can do where you can you know set your power profile uh, power management profile to high performance um, you also can set your system resources uh, to you know have increased uh, virtual memory if you want to uh, those are all different things that you can do uh, but setting up a miner is actually really easy uh, usually I prefer the batch files you just download the miner uh, open up your batch file uh, set up whatever you need to so you set the algo with dash a and there's always a help guide in one of the, in most of your miners there's always going to be like a help guide right so it, dash a is the algo for t-rex uh, i believe it's the same thing for z enemy dash o for the pool uh, that you're going to be mining on which again this one's supernova but you can see i got other miners set up in the back here um, your username and password that you set up uh, for your supernova pool and i don't care if you guys see it because it's supernova um, I do use difficulty but I, I haven't really gotten down to the nitty-gritty about that so I have D equals 8 on my single card miner but on my main system I have uh, D, D equals 48 so I'm setting the difficulty at a fixed rate I haven't gotten full details about that I haven't seen too much of a performance hit whether I use it or not I haven't been able to test it fully so if you know any information about that please feel free to let me know in the comments below and then again I set the intensity with dash I 22 and that got me the best uh, hash rate I guess you could say now um, besides that uh, mining x16r is really easy to set up if you even if you don't use any batch files you just like awesome miner you can set up a new pool, select the coin of your choice, very very easy, every coin is pretty much there, you just go down to the algo you're looking for, give it a description, plug in the pool URL, 
worker name uh, is usually your wallet address. Um, each pool is different, so either you're going to put your wallet address in the worker name, or you're going to put your wallet address in the wallet address field. You have to, for for Supernova, you would put um, your worker name um, slash user or, or mining rig. Uh, but for other pools, you may put it down here. Worker password if you got one. If not, leave it blank. Um, and then any additional command line arguments that you want to include, you can also do that in the advanced section. You save it, configured your pools however you want, and your profit switching profiles, and there you go. Mine away. Uh, it's very simple to set up. Uh, pretty much once you get on there, you can use the pool to keep an eye on everything. Uh, but trying to fine tune the hash rate. Uh, for what I what I found I prefer Nvidia inspector by the way if you have a system that's only running a dual core CPU to reduce the amount of resources because MSI afterburner does use a lot of resources if we look at um, task manager uh, we can see that MSI afterburner does use a lot of resources and it's, I, I say a lot it's a lot for a dual core CPU which most uh, mining systems are uh, for my 9900k my main system that's not a big deal so if you really want to reduce the amount of resources you're using, I would suggest setting up NVIDIA profiles in NVIDIA Inspector. Uh, but just for this video, uh, in MSI Afterburner, uh, I have my core clock set pretty high, but anything past um, 100 really is irrelevant. Like, even if I dropped uh, the 1070 down to uh, uh, plus 100 core clock, and by the way, you're leaving the memory at zero. Some people get better with negative memory rather than uh, zero. I get better hash rates at zero, period. So I just left it at zero. Uh, but the core clock on the 1660 Ti didn't want to go above 80. So I left it at 80. For all my other cards, it's bouncing between 100, 120. I did plug in, or you did just see there, like I had 150 on some of these cards. It's completely unnecessary because the core clock doesn't really do too much um, so let's see here right now we're at 1569 see it went up to 1645 by itself 1594 1620 1594 so see if we go back up to 150 see it doesn't it doesn't do anything because the TDP is, is, is ultimately deciding how high the core clock is going to be per card so if you have your TDP low it's not going to do you much good now if you leave it at stock settings with 100% power limit because you're not worried about electricity that's on you. Just be careful of the overclocking because it's very sensitive. You'll crash the miner and have to reboot or set up uh, any type of watchdog uh, command line um, you know, parameters to, to make sure that it reboots if it doesn't detect its mining after so many times. Or an awesome miner, you could have it just auto-reboot or reboot the system if something crashes, whatever you want to do. But as far as performance... Uh, you're not you, you you can get the same hash rate or a pretty good hash rate with T-Rex miner uh, Z enemy is pretty good, but T-Rex for me is the best um, Be careful of your core clock. Don't overclock too much because it is um, You know overclock sensitive uh, Because of the network hash rate has increased uh, Because the amount of miners on there we got increased difficulty So the amount of coins you're gonna get is reduced, but you can still get a profit mining Raven coin so uh, definitely support the community, support the Ravencoin product project. Uh, they got a really good platform. I look forward to uh, more uh, improvements and upgrades to not only the network but the platform as a whole. And um, yeah, check it out. Uh, definitely wanted to share this information with you. If you have any tips and tricks that you can share with the community, uh, definitely leave them down in the comments below. I am on the Discord for Raven uh, Coin as well. Uh, I'm not a uh, a major voice in there. I, I just venture in there and communicate with the guys every once in a while. Excuse me, the ladies and the guys every once in a while. Um, but it's definitely a, a good community to get involved in if you're new to the project. So thanks for watching. Like, share, subscribe, comment, all that good shit. And I will catch you guys in the next one. Take it easy.